Uh, we have a situation here where uh, the Attorney General has laid out a very specific set of facts. Uh, what we know is that uh, an individual of Iranian-American uh, descent was involved in a plot to assassinate uh, the ambassador uh, to the United States uh, from Saudi Arabia. And we also know that he had direct links, uh, was paid by and directed by uh, individuals in the Iranian government. Now, those facts are there for all to see. And uh, we would not be bringing forward a case unless we knew exactly uh, how uh, to support uh, all the allegations that are in contained in the indictment. Uh, so we have contacted uh, all our allies, uh, the international community. We've laid the facts before them. Uh, and we believe that after people have analyzed them, there will not be a dispute that this is, in fact, what happened. Uh, this is a uh, not just a dangerous escalation. This is part of a pattern of dangerous and reckless behavior by the Iranian government. One of the principles of international... The pattern of behavior the international community should really punish is Obama's sloppy efforts to pull a British-ordered coup in the United States to avoid his own impeachment and draw attention away from his own failure as a human. The attempted deadly provocation against Iran, in which Obama immediately blamed the Iranian government for the assassination attempt of the Saudi ambassador to the U.S., was yet another desperate attempt by Obama and his controllers, launched in order to create further discord between the U.S. and our would-be allies across the Pacific a move which would simultaneously undermine the call for Glass-Steagall by drawing attention away from Obama's failure to address this global collapse. But most of all, a move to establish a dictatorship. Soon after the plot was uncovered, Obama proclaimed that, without a doubt, this was an Iranian attack. At the same time, Attorney General Holder declared that one of the two alleged plotters, identified as Ghulam Shakuri, was a member of Iran's Quds Force, a special unit of Iran's elite revolutionary guards tasked with overseas operations. But in the past 24 hours, the entire premise of Obama's accusations has been called into question. On October 18th, Tehran called Obama's bluff and pointed its finger at the terrorist group Mujahideen al khalq the MEK as being at the center of the supposed Iranian plot to assassinate the Saudi ambassador to Washington. According to Mayer, a semi-official Iranian news agency, Interpol has found new evidence that suggests Shokuri, instead of being an operative of the Iranian government, is associated with the MEK, an anti-Iranian terrorist organization. According to Mayer, Shakuri has been traveling under several assumed names, using fake documents, including a foreign Iranian passport, and was last seen in Washington and Camp Ash Ashraf in Iraq, where MEK members are based. The MEK has long been involved in attempting to overthrow the Iranian regime. Its members fought under Saddam Hussein in the war against Iran, and in the 1970s were involved in the assassination of U.S. officials. The MEK's political arm, the National Council of Resistance of Iran, is listed by the United States as a terrorist organization and closed their Washington, D.C. offices in 2003. Mr. President, do these facts have any bearing on your accusations? We do not claim to know all the details surrounding the assassination plot, but we do know that the truth of the situation is the policies of London and Wall Street cannot coexist with reality any longer. This most recent provocation was designed knowing that our president is insane and will use any excuse to undermine reality and establish a dictatorship where all opposition and all questions are crushed. This is exactly what we saw with the case of al Alaki and Obama's acceleration of the secret drone attacks. 
We do not have the leisure to wait and see how bad the next attack will be. Obama must be removed now. This is not a matter of personal opinion. It's the truth. And if you're questioning that, then you are currently not qualified to have an opinion.